This is from Driver Fatigue. I'm realigning and enhancing these pictures for the future pictures and stories so that they can fit the format better because it wasn't quite right yet. So here we go. This guy is on the late Sunday shift and there's a ruined abbey. He never really picks anybody up there, ever, ever at all. And he's driving by, but there's somebody standing there. He reverses the bus and picks up a rather odd passenger. And this is the nurse driving home from the late shift. And uh, it's very spooky. And she's not quite sure if it's just tiredness or something weird's going on on this road. And this is the view of our car, you know, car window. And that's the mirror up at the top blocking the sky a bit and uh, I mean what would you do if you're driving along when you saw that type of thing a lot of people just swerve off the road so this is a lovely Isabel and Daniel Mr Tough Man and they've rented this self-catering self place in Spain and she's going Daniel there's blood on the sink I'll, I'll sort that I'll sort it love so this isn't a good sight these people get blood on their hands here this poor guy is just coming back from work on a bicycle it looks like he's in big trouble. I don't think he stands a chance because that, that pusher there is going to plunge him right into the drink. And uh, where's he going to go? Just at the bridge where he can't go. He can't go right because there's the wall there. If he tries to go left, he'll be in the drink anyway and make the job easy for him. Looks like a lot of trouble here. This guy's a writer and he had a successful first novel and now the pressure's on from his publishing house to do something even better, bigger and better with his new novel. And he is married, but his wife's away at the moment and uh, he's trying to concentrate and he can't, he can't think. His word processing screen is blank and Across the way there's a flat which has been empty for a couple of years and he, uh, he keeps glancing up and he sees this alluring woman trying to get his attention. And this is, you know, it's spoiling his concentration when he's supposed to be producing the goods here for his new novel. And uh, I suppose you could say just shut the curtains, but that wouldn't be for a good story. Would it wouldn't make a good story, that's so therefore what he's going to do is... Uh, He's going to go out over to that flat and see what's happening because he checked with his, the estate agents and they said it's been vacant for two years. So why is this woman appearing uh, at the window like that? 